everybody, this is Dream, and today we have a 10-game Major League Baseball slate that starts at 7 o'clock today. Uh, before I get started, can you guys smash that like and subscribe button, also drop your home run comments below in the comments. Uh, with that said, we're going to look at Keto Marte, uh, L.A. De La Cruz, and J.D. Martinez as our core plays today. Uh, these This slate does have one game to concern with weather, and that's the San Francisco-Colorado game. There is a postponement risk here uh, or at least a delay risk so we'll have to wait and see though closer lock but uh that game does have some concerns uh obviously that game is technically capable of being one of the best games on the slate when it comes to fantasy as well so that is definitely a concern today let's get into our pitchers though we're going to start with our p1 options of corbin burns and chris bassett now both of these guys do have some downsides today uh especially uh bassett here but uh both of them have good upside as well. Um, Max Serger has a tough matchup against Atlanta, but he is a contrarian option as he's had four straight really good games. And then Logan Webb has a decent option here for San Francisco, but he's high risk, high reward because this game's in Colorado and we know how these games can go there. Moving into the second uh, P2 options, uh, Chris, uh, sorry, Charlie Morton and Gray for Texas are both in play. They both have plus, plus, uh, blah, blah, blah. Tough matchups, but they do draw good uh, upside as they've been pitching fairly well. Um, looking at some contrarian option is Lance Lynn for the Chicago White Sox. Now, the Yankees likely won't have Judge, which will definitely give him a little bit of a boost as well. Uh, and he has pitched fairly decently this season, uh, so he definitely draws some contrarian upside here. And then two Hail Mary plays in Bibby and uh, Barria. For Cleveland and LA Angels, they both face tough matchups but have some potential here. But they're high risk and high reward in that situation. And then Creamer for uh, Baltimore is extreme option today as he has had six wins in nine games somehow. And that's against a tough schedule as well. But he's very contrarian as his metrics are not great and he has a low K rate. Uh, so that's what I have for pitchers. If you want a full... Uh, thing with the pictures i have made the patreon free today you can find the link in the description so you can look at my write-up for every picture on the slate moving into our catchers uh we're going to start with will smith uh now will smith has some really good metrics for this matchup he also hits the ball pretty well though he's had four straight games with under uh, 10 fantasy points but he does have home run potential as this game is in cincinnati uh then we'll look at patrick bailey uh for uh, San Francisco. Now, if you try to go with the San Francisco stack, that's definitely doable today. He also has good potential here. He's had some big games, though he is somewhat boomer bust because his games typically are that kind of thing. And the metrics are pretty solid here, but they're not great. They're just average. Uh, then we'll look at Moreno for Arizona. Now, he has very good metrics for this game. In fact, they are off the charts here. He's probably my favorite play at this position simply because he's cheap and he has uh, home run potential in this one with the metrics just being off the charts against Patrick Corbin. He's also hit Washington pretty decently in three games so far this season. Uh, moving into uh, the fact that we have, or sorry, uh, for this pick, catching position, there's plenty of value options that will help you pay up elsewhere. And decently solid position today overall. You can also consider Francisco Alvarez at this position. Moving into the first base, we're going to look at Lamont Wade uh, Jr. here. Lamont Wade Jr. for San Francisco. Now, obviously, if this game plays, he would be a pretty close to a must-play as he has really good metrics for this matchup. He's hitting the ball really well lately as well, and he has home run potential in this one. He draws a great start, great opportunity, and I really like him, especially if you go with the San Francisco stack. He would be the top of the stack, in my opinion. Uh, moving into another option, though, is uh, Christian Walker, uh, who draws some really good metrics here against Patrick Corbin. And he has home run potential as well. His batting average has been uneven, uneven, sorry, uneven this season. Uh, but he definitely is a good alternative to Wade. And he draws a nice matchup and has good metrics here. Uh, Josh Naylor also in play today as a great option at an even cheaper price point. As he draws a pretty good matchup here. And he's got home run potential on this one. Uh, his batting average is slightly better than Walker as well. Uh, but he actually has the best home run potential at this position for these value plays. So I do think he's pretty solid. You can also consider Otani, Vlad Jr., Brandon Belt, Dan Vogelback, Pete Alonzo, Nate Lowe, Emmanuel Rivera, uh, Jared Walsh, and Joey Meninez here. 
overall our first base has plenty of upside home run potential value plays it's not really that necessary to pay up here which is why i didn't include any of them in the top options uh at just in the also considered uh, i think that you can pretty much pick between one of four or five cheap value plays and be good to go on this slate um, then we'll look at second base uh, we're going to start with keto Marte, uh, who has some just epic met Metric, matchup metrics for this one he did hit a home run two days ago but he's got really good metrics again uh this situation just screams home run for him he is my top play overall on the slate uh then we'll look at mookie betts uh for him for second base and outfield he can play he also has home run potential and this game's in cincinnati which gives him some nice metrics he's a good contrarian play off of Marte. uh then i'll mention uh, jeff mcneil today for the mets now he doesn't I have great home run stuff but he's cheap and he definitely gives you some ability to pay down at this position if that's what you want to do though he seems high risk high reward you could also consider Luis Arias who's hit the ball really well lately Marcus Simeon Jonathan India and Brendan Drury at this position though I do think it's uh, good to pay up at this position uh, then we'll look at third base uh, here uh, for JD Davis uh, for San Francisco, another guy from San Francisco that has really good metrics here. Obviously, we can't use a lot of S San Francisco players, uh, but I definitely think several are in play, and he's definitely one of them. He draws good metrics for his top-tier matchup, but his price is still decent. Uh, then we'll look at Jose Ramirez uh, for Cleveland, who draws really good upside here. Though he is fairly expensive, he has a good contrarian option off of J.D. Davis, and he draws a good matchup here, and he's hit the ball well lately. Uh, Longoria for Arizona is a good value play here. He's just way too cheap for his potential here, though his batting average has been weak. He's been hitting home runs lately a lot, which is definitely advantageous and helpful here. Obviously, he is somewhat boomer bust, but if he can hit a home run, he'll definitely be in play. Uh, Rivera for uh, Arizona is also in play. It's a little cheaper. Obviously, he's hit the ball a lot better than Longoria, but he definitely has uh, potential, but he doesn't have the home run upside that Longoria does. Uh, Ryan McMahon, uh, or sorry, McMahon for Colorado has really good metrics here. If this game plays, he's definitely in play as an expensive option, but he's high risk, high reward since he's so expensive. Uh, you could also consider Raphael Devers, Austin Riley, and Chris Taylor here. Overall, this position is fairly deep with good options at multiple price ranges. I like pretty much everybody in this position that I mentioned, and I think they're definitely viable options. Moving to shortstop, uh, we'll start with Corey Seager. Uh, he is the expensive option on the slate for this position. He's hit the ball really well lately. He has home run potential, and I like his upside. Uh, obviously, he didn't do much yesterday, but he definitely draws good upside today. Uh, then we'll look at Brandon Crawford for San Francisco. Now, he's probably going to be the hardest guy for San Francisco to roster. Uh, he's very He's usually only useful in very specific situations. But as you can see, his price has popped up because he's in that kind of situation today. And I like his upside here in this matchup. But he is probably really hard to roster, especially if you go with the San Francisco stack. Uh, Ellie De La Cruz, he is the man of the hour, though. Uh, he had 11 fantasy points yesterday in his first MLB game. He got walked twice, hit a double. He actually didn't get on base where he was by himself to get a steal. But he definitely has the potential here. He is a hard hitter. He has a lot of power. He can have home run potential. He can play shortstop or third base. But on DraftKings, he's got he's set at shortstop, which is actually kind of nice since there's usually a pretty limited uh, position. And he draws really good metrics for this matchup. I like his upside and his potential. You can also consider Matt McClain, Bo Bichette, and Nick Ahmad here. Overall, shortstop is going to be chalky with Ellie De La Cruz. Uh, and he's only $2,700 which is very helpful to pay him up elsewhere. But there are decent options at this position, which is actually kind of rare uh, for shortstop. But I definitely think De La Cruz is the core play of the day from that position. Moving to the outfield, uh, we have five uh, core op top, not core options, top options. Mookie Betts, Otani, uh, Fraley, uh, J.D. Martinez, and Mike Trout. These guys all have nice upside today. And I will show you uh, Martinez here in just a second. Uh, because uh, he has absolutely just smashed the ball lately. He's had lots of great games in a row for a while now. He's been having big game after big game. He has home run potential as well, and he draws nice metrics here, and he's priced down a little bit, which is nice as well. Uh, then we'll look at our value plays. I have three, uh, what I'm calling 
uh, value high end options. Uh, Lordy's Gary L. Jr. Uh, draws one of those. Now he didn't play yesterday as he had a little bit of a groin strain. Uh, but if he's back today, then he'll be a top tier option on the slate. He's also priced really fairly and has nice metrics in a Arizona stack. Uh, Jock Peterson is also in play here. He's hit the ball pretty well lately. He also draws nice metrics and has good upside for a potential a big game here. And then Conforto for San Francisco also hits very well lately. He's had good potential and he has home run upside in this matchup. Uh, then I have some other value plays, more normal ones. Uh, Ian Hop draws a good start and he's pretty cheap here. Uh, his price is dropping some because he hasn't hit the ball particularly great lately. Uh, but he definitely has home run potential and I do like his upside in this matchup. Uh, Nemo is also in play for the Mets. Uh, he's not a home run hitter but he definitely gets on base a lot and while he has been up and down recently he draw, he draws really good metrics for this matchup and he's in play Eloy Jimenez he had some had some big games lately uh but he's been a little bit uh slumped since he had those big games but he's still hitting the ball in most of the games and he draws some good matchup matchup metrics here uh, then we'll look at Mike Iskrimski for San Francisco. He's a good contrarian option for this team. If you go with the San Francisco stack, he'll be somewhat hard to roster, but he seems a little bit riskier than the other options. But he definitely has some metric up upside. Uh, and then we got two the Hail Mary plays here for DeLuca uh, for the uh, Dodgers. Now, he definitely doesn't have the metrics to be a top-tier option, but he does have home run potential and stolen base potential he will only mostly face uh left-handed pitchers this year and while he's up in the majors but he definitely has some interesting opportunity here and then michael harris is a uh hail mary play as well as he has not hit the ball well this season but he still has the power if he can connect and get on base he also has stolen base potential he's just been striking out a lot and really not hit the ball well yet this year. So if you can ever start going, then that price is going to become very cheap. Uh, with that said, guys, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. And have a nice day, guys.